I can't shake this feeling that we know each other. We do. We do? Picture me, I guess, maybe like 20 years younger, but like this. Florsky? Yeah! What do you think makes one another a great scene partner? The first thing that makes it really easy and enjoyable is having a level of respect and admiration for the person that you're working with. Because I, I think then just naturally you're in a space where you're interested, you want to hear, and you value. And it's very hard to sometimes sit across from people that you just don't have. Don't, don't have that, that for. <laughs> and we just had that off the bat. I don't care about what he thinks, but that's how I feel. Yeah, about it. Mm. that is how I felt. And then it's a, then it's then it's enjoyable because yeah. then you have somebody that elevates you and takes you to a place that you can't go on your own. And it's just then it's a nice experience. I mean, who wants to follow me around the world and hope I have five minutes to be affectionate? Yeah. And honestly, guys don't really want to date women who are more powerful than them. They think they do, but it's a Dick Shriveler. Oof. Mm -hmm. Dick Shriveler is my favorite Batman villain, though, so. It was so helpful for me cause at, at how hard she would work to make the scenes better and as real and funny as possible. And, and like sometimes you are acting with people and you you could tell they kind of just want to get the fuck out of there honestly <laughs> and they don't really care like they they don't really care how it is turning out and she really cared how it was turning out and that that was like and it made me want to try harder cuz like oh we better make this really good then because cuz she cares yeah, you know? the presence. <laughs> yeah. You guys, yeah feel each other oh so Charlotte and Frank kind of reconnect over the music they grew up with a little bit. Yeah. Do you guys have music crossover tastes? A lot. Yeah. We both you... love Voice to Men. You get me, friend. I totally get you. Voice yes. to Men, of yeah. course. Rock set. Rock set. It was oh, awesome. Nice. It's all very real. Yeah. So yeah, this is it's selfishly. We yeah, we <laughs> wanted to make <laughs> we our own. Put soundtrack. a lot of ourselves into this yeah. movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I wondered. There's times where you're recommending certain songs. I was like, that's got to actually be a song that you love. And so I do you also like Lil Yachty. For yeah. Real. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, we can't forget he's exactly. also in the movie. Voice Don't Amazing. forget Lil Yachty. <laughs> there hasn't been enough talk that Lil Yachty is in this movie. <laughs> I know. Because it is. It, I think so it's, it, it, it's too weird for people to wrap their heads around. It will blow your Mind. <laughs> it is strange, yeah. yeah. Yeah, what is he? He has a great, he's like, he, he just like, goes, hell yeah. yeah that's, a, <laughs> that's a very, very special yeah, it's moment. It's wonderful. Um, yeah, that's great. I, I, I just thought it was funny they kind of connect through that because that's that's such a real thing. And so we I totally do. Yeah, you had not mm. heard Broccoli by Drake. No, <laughs> never heard of that song. Yeah. Ever. Actually, actually yeah, a song. great song. Yes. <laughs> Fred, I need you to come work on that speech with me right now. Am I being too bossy? No, no. We'll do exactly what you were imagining, and then you turn me around, slap me on my ass, and then choke me a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs>